Hi guys! Good morning! Um, what's going on here? Everything's good. I voted today. It's your right. We live in democracy. When you're 18, take advantage of it. Vote. Okay, today's book is extra special to me. It was my book when I was your age. When I was four and five years old, and the bear's paint box, and you can even see, look, I wrote my name, Gabby. I even added an extra B. My mom read this to me, and now I'm reading it to you, and I read it to my own kids, and it's one of my favorites. And it's really awesome because we actually were just talking about mixing colors and what colors make what colors, and that's what it's about. So let's read Panda Bear's Paint Box. Bear's daddy gave him a paint box. It was a wonderful paint box with a long skinny space for the brush and a row of little squares filled with different colors. Panda Bear thought they looked like little windows. I will paint a picture right now, Panda Bear said, and the picture I paint will be a picture of me. And if you all look at that paint box, we have so many of those exact same paint boxes in our classroom. So anyway, anyway, Panda Bear is going to use his paint box for the first time, and he said he's going to paint a picture of himself. First, he painted his head and tummy white. Then he painted his ears, nose, eyes, arms, and legs black. Panda Bear looked at his picture. I look too plain in black and white, he said. I will paint myself a red scarf. So Panda Bear painted a long red scarf around his neck. It reached all the way across the paper. My long red scarf is blowing in the wind, he said. Then he painted a bright blue sky. Even though it is windy, he said, the sky is blue and the sun is shining. He painted a big yellow sun in the bright blue sky. <gasps> then something strange happened. Uh-oh, what happened? Some of the blue sky got mixed with the yellow sun. Panda Bear was very surprised. Blue and yellow make green. I will paint some green grass in my picture, Panda Bear said, to show that on this sunny, windy day, spring is on the way. And it really is on the way this year. Spring is March 19th, which is tomorrow. After Panda Bear painted some patches of green grass, he looked at his picture and thought, if yellow and blue make green, I wonder what yellow and red make. And look at Panda Bear. He looks just like you guys in the art center. So he mixed some yellow and red. They made orange. Orange is just the right color for a pair of mittens, Panda Bear said. So there's his yellow and red. Yellow and red, and they made orange. Even though the sun is shining and the... Even though the sun is shining and spring is on the way, the wind is blowing and I will need a pair of mittens. Panda Bear wasn't finished painting yet. If red and yellow make orange, he thought, what will red and blue make? He mixed red and blue. They made purple. Purple, said Panda Bear, is a fine color for a pair of boots. And there we go. We have our red and blue, and they made purple. I look very nice, he thought when he was finished, and I look lonely all by myself. I will paint my friend, Brown Bear, standing next to me. Brown Bear likes the color pink, said Panda Bear, so he mixed white and red and painted Brown Bear a fuzzy pink hat to keep his ears warm.
just as Panda finished, his mother walked in. She looked at the picture. She looked at Panda Bear. Oh, Panda Bear, she said. There is red paint all over your elbow. That is the color of my red scarf blowing in the wind, Panda Bear said. And there is orange paint on your nose. His mother sighed. That is the color of my mittens, Panda Bear said. And there is blue and yellow and green and purple and brown and pink paint all over you. Those are the colors of the sky and the sun and the grass and my boots and my friend Brown Bear with his pink hat on to keep his ears warm. I know, said his mother, but that's too many colors for a panda bear. And quicker than you can say, panda bear needs a bath, he found himself in a warm, soapy tub. Panda bear watched the colors mix with the soap suds and then go swirling down the drain. But he knew where he could find them all again in his wonderful paint box with the long skinny space for the brush and the little squares that looked like tiny windows filled with different colors. Oh, look how cozy Panda Bear looked. And he hung up his picture. Just like we hang up your picture at school. And that, boys and girls, was my book when I was a little girl. That brought back great memories. Thank you so much. Okay, I love you. Big hearts. Be good. Bye.